Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today, I want to talk to you about uh, about genetics and uh, the type of goals that you can expect uh, to get, or what you can't expect to get based on genetics. Uh, first off, I'm going to tell you that I don't I don't believe in uh, blaming genetics, like saying that you can't do something, you can't achieve something because you have different genetics than somebody else. That you can't uh, get to that state uh, that somebody else is in because they have better genetics to you. Um, this is basically coming from because I got a comment about genetics and I'm just going to share with you uh, my experiences and uh, basically a small experiment that I did myself uh, a while back just to uh, see uh, basically how people eat and uh, how their lifestyles are and uh, like based on and then how their body reflects that. Uh, basically I had like uh, a few family members and friends, uh, different body styles. Uh, like just write down everything that they eat you know for a week and then I just monitor and you know I looked at it just to see like how many calories they're eating every day and so on and uh, so I guess let me just go ahead and jump into that and tell you first uh, first off I used uh, my uh, my sister-in-law she's uh, she's uh, uh, thin she's about five foot five foot one about hundred and ten pounds and she's one of those people that would always say you know I can eat whatever I want to eat and never gain weight I never gain weight I eat anything I want and uh, what I actually found with her is that uh, normally on the weekends she does eat a lot but it's still not that much uh, and during the, the normal week she she doesn't she doesn't really eat that much uh, she would go maybe up until three four five o'clock in the afternoon before she would actually eat her first meal and uh, basically her average day would be something like a small bowl of cereal and uh, two to three packs of uh, uh, ramen noodles and then that's an average day but on the days that she would s supposedly say that she would pig out she would maybe eat uh, you know in, in the evening order a, uh, a you know a medium pizza pepperoni pizza from Domino's and eat about six to seven of those slices of the medium pizzas almost the whole pizza and uh, basically that's about uh, 12 to 1400 calories and uh, what I found is that she, on average, she only averaged about 1,500 calories a day uh, throughout the week. Because towards the weekend, she would eat about you know 2,000, even 2,500 calories for you know on the weekends. But during the regular week, during during the week, like Monday through through Friday, she would only eat about uh, like 1,000 to 1,200 calories a day. And so. She's once again. She was one of those people that said that you know she can eat everything she wants and she's not going to gain weight. And then when we really broke it down, on average she was eating about 1,500 calories a day, not very much. Um, another friend of mine, I had him uh, track what he was eating. He's about he's very tall, about six foot six, about 200 pounds. That's thin for as tall as he is, and uh, he's very active. Now he eats. He ended up eating quite a bit about uh, he averaged about 2500 calories a day but he's very active he plays like indoor soccer uh, he plays in softball leagues uh, he plays basketball for recreation a lot he actually does work out a little bit too but uh, and basically what I've seen that he eats he actually eats healthy quite a bit he uh, a lot of his meals consist of uh, a lot of vegetables and a lot of grilled chicken and uh, you know fish uh, grilled f he doesn't eat very much fried food like you know we'll both go to the jack-in-the-box and then you know I'm gonna get something fried because that's what I enjoy eating and he'll order up you know a grilled sourdough sandwich or something like that and then that's that's just his eating habits that's just the that's the type of food that he prefers he's not trying to lose weight or beat then uh, he's actually one of those people that wants to gain a little more weight but his eating habits that's the type of food that he likes to eat he likes to eat healthy foods and uh, and then he did eat about 2,500 calories a week, but he, it was a lot of healthy food, uh, vegetables, grilled meats, and he's very active. Uh, another person that I had tracked, them, well, I didn't really track her. I just know is my niece. Uh, she's about five three, 100 pounds, and uh, I just know that how much she eats because the doctor actually the doctor monitored her and uh, in like gave her a diet and told her that she needs to at least be eating 1500 calories a day because she she wasn't she was eating about uh, like a, I think around a thousand I would guesstimate all she would basically eat all day is cereal and fruits that's I mean 
she she wasn't trying to lose weight or stay thin or anything that's just she's very picky with what she eats and whatever was cooked at, the, at her house uh, she would just prefer not to eat that and she knows that she likes cereal so she'll eat you know two or three bowls of cereal a day and some fruit here and there and then that's about it all day long um, okay all these people were thin another person that I did monitor is my dad he's uh, he's a big man well not tall but he's big he's about five foot three around 230 pounds and now my dad eats a lot first thing in the morning wakes up about seven eight in the morning cooks about four to five eggs with fried potatoes and about four about three or four slices of bread also and then he goes to work and then he goes to lunch and he likes to eat out for lunch he and I mean we're we're Mexican so he likes to go to Mexican restaurants he'll go to a Mex Mexican restaurant and eat you know the chips and salsa the soda you know the enchiladas and the taco plate with the rice and beans and uh, a lot of people don't realize this that when they go out to a restaurant those meals can be well over 2,000 calories in just one sitting and the thing is that he would eat that and then he would still come home that's about noon still come home for dinner around you know six seven in the evening and then eat whatever uh, is cooked here at, at, his, at his house he would eat about uh, like for example say that there's hamburgers he would, he eats about two to three hamburgers for dinner and my dad's one of those guys that has a big sweet tooth so I mean after he eats that I mean he drinks it with his tea also and but after he eats that he's got to have his dessert he's got to have about two apple pies and these things are I mean they're they're scary just to even read about 350 400 calories for these things and uh, even before he goes to bed he might get a little snack too and uh, what I found with him like I said he's five foot three about 230 pounds he actually eats anywhere from 4,000 to he can go up to 6,000 calories a day just uh, that's that's what his day would range from 4,000 to 6,000 and he's five foot three 230 pounds he's one of those people that you look at and you would think oh you know he's got bad genetics uh, he's it, it's hard for him to lose weight because you know he, he can just look at food and gain weight that's how you know that's the genetics he has that's what you would think and uh, basically it's just he actually eats a lot and I don't think people realize how much they actually eat until you sit down and you count all those calories and see how many you eat and uh, my last example is gonna be myself uh, I used to actually be uh, I'm about five foot six I used to be very small I used to be about a hundred and fifteen pounds and at five foot six that is tiny this is before I actually tried uh, lifted weights or anything. I, I really didn't eat much. I would eat once a day actually, and that was that would satisfy me. And I was very active also, but I used to be about 115 pounds, and I fluctuated all the way up to I've been up to 210, 215 pounds before, and uh, and now I'm at 160. So you know, just from that fluctuation, I mean. I'm not gonna say that there's like I don't believe so much in the different body types they say that there's an endomorph that's the person that's just fat and like really big it's hard for them to lose weight and then there's a, a ectomorph the person that can eat whatever they want and never gain weight it's so hard for them to gain weight and then there's the mesomorph someone that can put on a lot of muscle very easily and actually it's not easy to put on muscle no matter who you are whatever your genetics are you gotta be in the gym uh, you know four or five days a week I mean, you might be able to get away with three, but you got to be in the gym four or five days a week, and you got to have sound nutrition. Seriously, it doesn't matter what kind of genetics you think you have. Um, basically, that's that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Personally, I don't believe in genetics like so much that there's that person that can eat whatever they want to eat, never gain weight. I mean, that's I would say that's true, but I think that what they want to eat isn't as much as a heavier person would eat or there's that person that can't gain weight they can they eat nothing and they never and they can't lose weight no matter what they do I, I think I personally believe that they're not they don't realize how much they're actually eating you know they're putting you know all this sugar in their coffee or you know they're drinking these a few sodas here and there they're drinking you know this whole milk 
and for for breakfast in their in their bowl of cereal and people don't realize that your milk alone if you drink whole milk in your cereal that's 300 plus calories just in the milk and then plus the cereal is going to be anywhere from two to three hundred calories of cereal that's a huge breakfast uh, you got to really measure out your foods actually uh, but that's so my belief is that I don't believe so much in the genetics that you know someone can lose weight easier or gain weight easier or you know the, the metabolism thing that somebody has such a, a faster metabolism than this person and that's why it's easy for them you know uh, to not gain weight and all this all these things I believe that it is a lifestyle and it's your choices of your you know the foods that you eat um, how often you eat if you eat if you can eat every three or three to four hours and you consistently do this for months you know your metabolism is going to be uh, is going to be elevated and you can raise your metabolism that way and so basically that's it I just I, w I don't believe in chalking things up to genetics and saying that I can do that I can't do this because my genetics are bad or he can do this easier than me or she can do this easier than me because they have better genetics than me I don't believe that. I personally believe, I honestly wholeheartedly believe that it is uh, the lifestyle and the choices you make uh, in your activity levels and, and the foods you eat. All of these things combined, I believe, is metabolism, is your metabolism. It's not, you know, that somebody has a better metabolism or, you know, genetics than you. So that's what I believe and I would encourage you to believe this as well because I wouldn't like, you know, you I want you to reach your goals and if you believe like I believe it you're gonna have a better chance of reaching your goal because you're not gonna give up at the start and just say hey I can't do this because my genetics are differently don't believe that you know look at my other videos if you're trying to lose weight and look at what I'm telling you these things have worked for me and I know they can work for you so please don't blame genetics when you're trying to reach your goals I know I believe that you can do it so uh, that's basically it for today guys uh, looks like well I've gone on a long time almost 13 minutes but just a little rant and once again I'm not saying that this is hardcore scientific evidence you don't have to you know get all upset and uh, you know you know put a bunch of hate comments or whatever because you know my advice you know is, is not whatever you believe I'm just saying this is what I personally feel and for those of you that want to you know believe the way that I believe I believe that you're gonna reach your goals if you, you, you disagree with me and you know I mean I'm sorry but I don't I don't you're gonna have you're not gonna have a great chance of reaching your goals because you're hindering yourself uh, believing that genetics has a lot to play with it and it's just your lifestyle even as you get older they say that your metabolism slows down I believe that you slow down you're not as active as you were when you were in your you know teens and in your 20s you know you're not out you know outside trying to play sports or whatever you know you, you may have a desk job now and that's all you do so you know don't blame metabolism uh, blame your lifestyle so you know be active eat right and you're gonna you're gonna reach your goals um, if you haven't already done so you know go check out my other videos Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be giving out, you know, tons of information. My personal experiences, what I've experienced in my journey, my weight loss goals. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, you know, go ahead. You can leave a comment, message me or whatever. I'll try to either write you back or make a video about it. Uh, but uh, other than that, guys, uh, have a good day.